All right, guys, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on my uh, real red uh, grapefruit. I decided to put it in the ground, and as you guys know, this is one of the very first trees that I decided to put in the ground. Now, it did go into shock. It lost all its leaves and flowers. Surprisingly, some fruit is setting for some reason. Um, and what I noticed is that it was getting some sunburn because it didn't have any protection. So what I did is I did a little... Uh, just a little help here with the with the bag and a stake and I just put it there because in the afternoons we get sun from the east side and it hits this whole side and normally the sun um, a tree like this would love the sun but considering that it doesn't have any leaves to protect these branches and I should probably put some IB organic product on this trunk um, it's gonna get sunburned so for that reason I'm gonna I put this bag even though it's not hundred percent stable uh, with the wind and it keeps flying back and forth so some sides would get shade and then when it moves it gets a little sun and then it gets shade which is fine that's more tolerable than um, having sun beaming on you the whole entire time and getting sunburn as you can see right here so now that I did that I've done this for the last week I started seeing new growth and it's starting to perk up a little bit so i'm really excited about that i did notice that the soil that i have here retains extremely amount of water and it doesn't drain very well so since i did that discovery i decided to stop um, watering this tree too much because as you guys know citrus do not like to be waterlogged and sitting on water so for that reason I didn't water as much at least I'm trying not to and I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about the, the water um, being retained uh, earlier I left the holes dripping um, on my raised beds and I accidentally forgot to turn it off for quite some time so it obviously drained and there's a hole here that I already dug up because I'm going to put something in here to continue to grow aspillaire and um, kind of cover this ugly fence <laughs> and continue to add to my edible landscape and as you can see though I mean there was tons of water I, I literally left the drip for hours um, and as you can see, it's waterlogged. So that's a sign of this water not draining as well. That's also a sign to let you know that we are not going to um, need to water our trees that much because, um, you know, the soil that we have here retains a lot of water. But the key to that is to keep mulch on the top soil. So that way your little feeder roots um, are not completely dried out because the first top layer of soil always dries out and you don't want that you want it to stay a little moist that way um, um, the feeders can continue to to eat and thrive in the area all right guys with well, just a quick tip and suggestions um, I'm not a pro at this but I am learning as I'm going and I do try to find solutions and this was the perfect solution for this little tree if I remove that look at how much Sun it's gonna get so I'm going to make sure that I keep this on there because it's definitely doing a great job at protecting this tree from sunburn. And I obviously need to cover it with some IV organic, but since I haven't had the time, this is going to be the solution. Now, just to let you guys know the IV organic product, once I mix it, it's recommended to use it within a couple of weeks. And that's the reason why I haven't done most of my trees. Because once I mix that mixture together, I am going to paint as many trees as I possibly can. Because in that little tiny bottle, there's actually quite a lot of product. So, I'll do a separate video on how I do that and share it with you guys. But for now, I just wanted to give you guys an update on this Rio Red and show you the progress. Alright guys, I hope you guys have a blessed day and see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.